Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WooCommerce Theme Development with WooCommerce REST API. In the previous video, we learned about how to add the Gutenberg styles in your single post page. And in this video, we're going to continue our journey with the blog. So we wanna ensure that we have a blog page where we have all the posts listed, at least nine of them in one go, and then we can have the pagination. Okay, so let's continue. So remember in the previous episodes, we created the blog directory and instead of that, we have the index.js. So if you go to the slash blog, which is this one, <clears throat> you can see we don't have anything. We just have a blog, right? So what do we need? We basically need the data, which is the header and the footer. So let's add that. So I'm going to use the get static props and I'm just going to copy that because that's the function responsible for passing the data to your component, to your page. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this products because we don't need that. We don't wanna displaying products here. We, don't, we want to be displaying posts here. So I'll get rid of that and then um, rest. This is going to be pulling up header photo, which is this variable right here. And I'm gonna add that there. And then we're gonna need the um, layout. So I'll copy that. Okay, layout. Okay, for SEO, I'll just copy the constant. What you could do is you could create this page on WordPress and get the SEO data from there, but it's okay. I think for now it's all right. Uh, title, we can just keep it as blog because this is a blog page. Description, let's say just put blog page. And then we'll worry about the OG image and all that later. Okay, that's great. That's your layout, I'll just say blog and that's it. And then import the blog on top, sorry, layout on top. So just say layout and it's imported that on top, which is great. So now if I refresh, we have the header and footer, we have this block saying over here, which is great. Go back to your uh, PR, which is pull request for blog. And then under that, look for the blog page. So let's say blog, here it is. So we're gonna need the heading. So let's do the heading here, which is the blog. Then we also need to basically get all the post data before we actually build post over here in the component, we need the post data. If you remember from the previous video, we already have a function called get posts. That's going to do the trick for us. So we'll just say inside of a get static props function, because that's responsible for getting the data. We do another async update and get posts. So just pull it. I explained that in the previous videos that you have this get post function and you can pass the page number um, in a, um, by default it's one page number one and then it's going to just make a query to your rest api endpoint your rest api endpoint is this one which is your custom endpoint i showed that to you in the previous videos that if you make a request to um, this endpoint then it's going to give you all the posts in fact give you nine posts in total and that's the setting in the back end uh, that's how it's set in the back end and then it's going to give you how many posts were found in the database and how many pages will be built because you're building nine posts per page so it will be 12 pages for 100 posts okay so we'll do its calculation that's why using a custom endpoint so make sure that you have the latest version of the headless cms from github okay so once that is done uh, come back here so you have your get post function async await and you just return the um, response. Otherwise, just empty. I already explained that to you in the previous videos. That's fine. Uh, come back over here. You will get the post data. You will pass that here like that. Okay. So you have the post data. You pass that and then pull that information in your component. And you just console it down and see what you get there. So go back here, inspect, console, and you can clearly see that you have the found post. I just showed you that API response, right? Which is this one. So you have all of that data here, and you've got all the post data, nine post data, and that's what we need. And it just has everything. You have the attachment image, the categories, uh, you have the meta, excerpt, iPost, ID, slug, title, everything. 
Excellent. So now all we have to do is display that. So let's go back to our pull request. We're going to need the post component. So I'm going to pass that here. And we're going to build that component in a moment. So what are we going to pass? We're going to pass the post data uh, dot post data because that's what's there inside of the, ignore the error message right now. We've not created that. That's why you're getting the error message. But anyways, under the post data, which is this variable, right? This property right here, you have your posts available. You can see that you have nine posts available over here, right? Great. So let's build this component. So I'm going to go back to my pull requests and then I'm going to say posts. Now, where is that? Oops. components slash posts here it is so what you need to do is you need to create a directory inside of the components under source components call it posts and inside of this you call it index.js okay and then just copy this whole thing easy peasy there you go you have prop types is empty is already being pulled from lodash you're going to need the post component which we'll build in a moment but as long as the if the post uh, is empty or if it's not an array return otherwise loop through that those posts and then um, use the key post id index and then use the post component render the post so let's create that one also so i'm going to say this one is post .js. So inside of this, we'll create post.js. So under post.js, I'm going to copy this. Pretty simple. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the post component. Inside of you have a div. You have link slash block, whatever the slug is, because you remember we want to send the user to slash blog slash whatever the slug is because that's what we build in the pages block and then slug uh, so if it's hello world post we will go under slash blog slash hello world okay so that's the link that we want to link to you have figure tag you have uh, your image component which we are pulling from image and then you have your attachment image source and all of that thing and we are actually pulling that from the data so ignore the error right now um under post you have what do we have we have slug so that's what we have put here we have attachment image image source attachment image image source we want the first item which is this url for the image then we have the title so then we have title here and then we have the date author name we already built the post meta component in the previous episode so you can watch those um, and this will render the date and author name, etc. And then you have another uh, element here wrapped inside of a link. And this is just your title. So make sure. So this ensures that if the user clicks on image or the title, they'll be directed to a single post, which we have already built for us. Okay. So once that is done, go back to your posts and make sure this post component is imported. So I think it is already imported, which is great. Um, Go back to your blog and then just import it here. Post. There you go. And it's imported that on top, which is great. We can remove the get post one. We don't need that. We just need get posts. And now, if you go back and check, congratulations. This is amazing. You've got nine posts being displayed over here. Let's take a look how that is being working. I'm going to show you uh, step by step from the top. I'll close everything. Close everything start from scratch go to pages go to blog index.js okay so what's happening here when you go to slash blog it lands to this component it needs the data it gets the header and footer data through header and footer endpoint it gets the posts through posts function which is basically your post endpoint 
So it makes the REST API call, gets the post data. We pass both this information over here. We get the SEO data and we pass it to the SEO and we pass the header footer to layout. So we have the header and footer here. Then we have the heading. So this is your heading. Then you have the post component, which is basically this one right here. This is the post component. Let's go into the post component. Inside post component, if the posts are available, we're passing the posts, looping through them. And then we have this div right here. This one, right? Okay, uh, we loop through it and for each post, we render the post component. So this is each post, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine posts, right? Under each post, we pass the single post item and then we have an image. So under this, we have this link tag, which is taking you to that particular uh, post. Similarly, this is a different uh, URL because it's a different post. So under this one, under the A tag, you have the figure, which is right here. You have the image. So under so image component is rendering this whole thing over here. Okay, I'm not gonna go deep into that. I've already explained that. So Next.js is basically optimizing your image and everything once you pass the URL. Uh, then you have the post meta. So I'll close that. This is your post meta. So you can see you have time. So inside of your post meta, you have the time, you have the date being rendered here for each post when it was published. And then under span, you have by, just by, yeah. And then you have the author name, just right here. Then you have the heading. So let's close post meta. Then inside of a link, you have your heading H2, right? You have the title, the title being rendered here, okay. Then you have the excerpt. So this element, this one right here is your excerpt. And that's what's being rendered. Okay, so that's all that's happening there. So that's how you display uh, the post. Of course, there are only nine posts uh, being displayed. We want to give the ability to the user to be able to see the other posts as well. And for that, we need pagination. So next video, we're gonna build pagination. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub. Uh, my GitHub handle is Imranit Sayyad and uh, please start my repository to support my work and do give super thanks and join the membership to get more perks. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.